U.S. House Speaker Johnson assures Zelensky of support for Ukraine. Speaker of the House Mike Johnson has pledged to President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky to do everything to continue aid to Ukraine, according to Zelensky's interview with CNN. According to the Ukrainian president, when he spoke with Johnson, he said he supports Ukraine. He said that he will do everything to support Ukraine and he's on our side and he understands how heroic our people, our soldiers and civilians are. Zelensky said he revealed that he reached out to U.S. President Joe Biden and Johnson to urge them to pause the differences between Democrats and Republicans to reach an agreement on Ukraine. Zelensky said that the election period is tough and he thinks Johnson as well as Biden heard the message he delivers. And that's all he could do. He couldn't push the speaker. It's his decision. But I think he understands all the problems we face, said Zelensky. U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said that Vladimir Putin gains every day as the U.S. House of Representatives postpones the adoption of a new aid package for Ukraine. On February the 13th, the United States Senate supported a bill to aid Ukraine, Israel and Taiwan for $95 billion. Over $60 billion is earmarked for Ukraine. However, for this bill to take effect, it must be approved by the U.S. House of Representatives and signed by President Joe Biden. Speaker of the House Mike Johnson opposed the initiative, following which President Joe Biden called on the House of Representatives to approve the bill. However, the U.S. House of Representatives announced a recess until February the 28th, thereby delaying the process of providing aid to Ukraine. Russian military starts using Elon Musk's internet in Ukraine. The armed forces of Ukraine continue to use Elon Musk's Starlink satellite internet services, which are now provided under a contract with the Pentagon, according to Mind Media Outlet. But recently, Russian troops operating in the occupied territories have also started to use this connection. The connection works there because Starlink provides coverage within the internationally recognized borders of Ukraine. The information about the appearance of Starlink there was shared by Ukrainian TV presenter, journalist and writer Andriy Saplienko, Newsweek reports. Saplienko cited reports from soldiers on the front line that the occupiers have Starlink with licensed accounts. Starlink has been massively supplied to Russia via Dubai. Accounts are activated and working in the occupied territories, one soldier wrote. Another notes that Ukrainian soldiers can already see Russian Starlink, adding, To be honest, I thought they would do it earlier. A specialized Russian media outlet, Comnews, also reported on the supply of working systems to the war zone. More than 10 Russian online stores have started selling Starlink subscriber receiving equipment. Unlike last year's single sales of unactivated devices, this time deliveries to Russia are on a wholesale scale and with activated accounts. The Starlink network does not work in Russia, but its signal is available in the occupied territories and Crimea. Merchants do not hide the fact that Starlink kits are addressed to the members of the military and are sold out in large quantities. Ukraine at risk of cascading frontline collapse. New York Times. Ukraine's worsening lack of ammunition and battle fatigue will most likely force Kiev to abandon its current frontline positions unless it receives new aid from the West, the New York Times reported. The paper said that Ukrainian defenses near the key stronghold of Avdiivka in Russia's Donetsk region are reeling under relentless attacks and Kiev's problems extend beyond one single battle. Ukrainian troops, the New York Times added, are exhausted and suffer from a lack of weapons and ammunition, especially with regard to air defense systems. According to unnamed U.S. officials interviewed by the outlet, Kiev only has enough air defense assets to last until March unless it receives new shipments. This is far from certain, as the U.S., Ukraine's main backer, is locked in congressional gridlock over President Joe Biden's request to approve a $118 billion security bill, $60 billion of which is earmarked for Kiev. Many Republicans have been reluctant to support the measure, claiming it does too little to improve security on the border with Mexico. Western officials believe that without U.S. aid, a cascading collapse along the front line is a real possibility in 2024, the article says. Nevertheless, they reportedly estimate that it will take at least a couple of months for the shortages 
to take a toll. According to analysts, by March, Ukraine could be struggling to carry out local counter-attacks, and by summer, Kiev could find it difficult to repel Russian assaults. Without continued US support, New York Times sources say it's hard to see how Ukraine will be able to maintain its current positions on the battlefield. Ukrainian officials have repeatedly complained of a shortage of ammunition, calling it a very real and pressing problem. Meanwhile, the Financial Times reported, citing a senior EU official, that it will not be easy for the Europeans to substitute for the US.